So, um, welcome to an animation about C-Cam. This is day one of C-Cam, and you're all like six days in total. The most coolest day was like day three, but still watch day one to see lots of cool stuff. This video won't contain all the days, so make sure to turn notifications on to see more episodes of this series. Here we go. So, we were in the car driving to Galveston, and it's like here on the end of Texas, next to the sea or something. So when we drove there, we saw lots of big buildings, and it was in fact the Sea Camp's campus. I mean, I was kind of shocked because when I heard the name Sea Camp, I thought it would be like having tents on the beach. Yeah, yeah, I know it's weird, but still. So, anyways, we just parked in a walked out the car, and I was just like walking to this building called Lumbo Hula Blue Hall. Ha <laughs> ha. What a hilarious name! Okay, so, um, anyway, since the name was so hard to pronounce, I would usually call the building, like, her blue hall, or just a hall. I called it that for the rest of the week, so yeah, I'll be seeing that. So I met this lady at a desk, and she gave me a blue packet with some pockets, or something you can put on your neck. Oh yeah, and also, uh, make sure you come down here for dinner, okay, at 4.15pm. So the packet mostly looks something like this with my name and stuff. Okay, so I put it on around my neck as usual, like a name tag. And by the way, some other lady gave me this blue thing here to wear around your right wrist. You couldn't take it off even once. And it's used for checking in in the cafeteria, and I even had to wear it in the shower. But it was waterproof, so. Also, I met this dude, and he told me he was going to show me where my room is, which was room 266. So we walked out of Hollow Blue Hall, and we went into this building called Drumbo Ocean Hall. Okay, that's a fine name. Not so original, though. So, wait, so I'm going to explain Ocean Hall for a second, too. You see this, like, there's, these, there's three floors, but this diagram only shows the first two floors, because, yeah. The first floor was for the girls, and the second floor was for the men in my group. Also, there's stairs, no elevators or anything. So I walked up to my room, okay, my floor. Once I was there, once I was there, I walked down a hotel-like hallway, and oh yeah, and it was a it was a long walk. Once we got there, apparently you had to open your door. You had to to open your door. You had to get your packet. Open the top part up, reach in, grab your keycard, slide it into the opening, wait for the light to turn green, and yay, you open the door. So I put my foot inside the room and... Okay, so this is not really how the room will look like in the full view, but... But at least it was like halfway, halfway look like the rolling. Anyways. So the only thing I brought with me to sleep was sleeping bag and a pillow when I put down the mattress. Also, unfortunately, unfortunately, you have to get up to your bed. To get up to your bed, you have to parkour on the furniture to get up. So I packed my stuff and put them in the closet and stuff, and you could adjust the bed height, but I don't know how. I put my stuffed animal puffy on the bed, though. Ah, this is pretty good. The chairs are even rocking chairs. Hmm. Huh. This place even got a balcony. So yeah, there was a bathroom, across the bathroom there was a room 265, and yeah, you could go in that room um, anytime unless it's it's locked. So, um, I decided to go inside the room, <clears throat> so I was like walking to the, walking across the bathroom, and I got to room 265, um, yo. So, um, hi, how's living in the Milky Way? So this guy's name is Tough. Well, his real name is Steven, but like 99% of people call him Tough. Also, Tough is spelled T-U-F-F. -F. So, um, yeah, now I wait my roommate to come here. I don't have to wait that long, right? Ugh. Better be my roommate. So there's this guy named Samuel? We'll just call him Sam. We shall call him, and we will call him. Also, he had this sister that would jabber to me and talk to me nonstop. But I'm, I'm not drawing her. I forgot how she looked like. So, anyways, 
Let's just safely say that Sam had five times as much stuff than what I have. Yeah, I had more toys like the Charmander, the Dark, Darth Vader alarm clock, some kind of magnetic Star Wars dingy, my Jimmy Kabobby laughing, and I got the images from Google. Also, I had like two blankets and a covering and a pillow where I had a little sleeping bag. So you want to play? Okay, you see, you, this is magnetic. Cool, it can stick to the magnetic bed too. Hey, let's check out room 265 and see if Tuff has a roommate yet. Later. Introducing Reese. Hey, no, my, my name is not, it's not that Reese, it's Reese. R-H-Y-C-E, Reese. Well, if I ask, we're gonna prank you later in the series using your name as an advantage. Yep, and, and yep, and like, like you also eat Reese's. Yeah, I'm gonna deal with that. Okay, okay, just forget about madness. Yo, boys, you wanna play on our phones? I don't have no phone. Hey, yo, you can play on my phone. So I played on this phone for a while and I discovered a game called Blow Hero and. I played that game five years ago on my iPad, but now it's gone and I don't know the name until now. Anyways, so later at, so later at four, um, we were just playing and let's go down to the hall now, bro. Fine to me. So after that, we went to a whole another building to eat food. I was just saying that um, the bacon was so crispy, you put your fork on it and it'll break. Also, we got our own salt and pepper cans, and the cafeteria was huge. You could pick any drink like Coke or water. I pick water because I'm too afraid of fatness. Okay, also me and the boys sat in the table in the corner with a sofa or something. And I got this hamburger patty without the other parts of the hamburger. That was a huge regret. So anyways, the, the building was like real fancy to summarize. Uh, dude. Dude, it's not even that fancy. You'll taste the fancy, not on the charts. He actually sick. Also, this happened after lunch. So, I was walking down the flag room because it was full of flags. Duh. And then I saw a piano. And then I played it. So, I played mostly video game songs, but also a few songs that weren't from video games. Huh. See that little boy's playing the piano like a pro. Yep, I kind of got, I kind of got famous. But I'm, but I'm sure the kids below middle school could play this good too. For example, my best friends, even the Matthew and Sophia, my little brother. Yo, ma'am, you want a high five? Yep, now a high schooler is trying to high five me. If you didn't, and I didn't even start sixth grade. Later. Hmm. Okay, so, yo, boy, we might gotta go down to the Hollow Blue Hall again, you know that? Okie doke, Slim and Pokes. So we went down to this auditorium. Uh, sorry, I mean auditorium. So, uh, we were, so we were just sat on the seats. Oh, what's this? Cool. Some wooden slab. Huh. Hey, guys, welcome to Sea Camp. So I'll be saying a few things, and also I'm right for some reason, because they forgot what I look like. And, yeah, I'm gonna call this woman up to, uh, to say something. It's funny. So I'm gonna tell a joke, okay guys? So there was a, so, uh, there was a Cheerio, and each time he achieves a goal in his life, he becomes a cooler cereal piece. So the cereal was in line for something, uh, so the line for the milk cereal is full, so he went to the water and juice. And the water and juice lines were also full. So the cereal went to the punchline, and there was no punchline. Yep. 75% of all the kids yelled there. So I'm going to say some rules. One, no running in the halls. Just been lots of people running in the halls, boys. You might trip. This will take me a fresh 60 seconds just to get in my room now. Yeah, we actually have a list here of the rules. Let me read it. Bro, we actually should that. Like, he actually had a list of rules. 
So you have to use the bleeding to get in the cafeteria. Keep it on at all times and make sure you don't say any curse words or anything 18 plus. And also use all the stuff properly. You see back then there was this high schooler and he found his soulmate and this girl was leaving so he was like, Rope dude. You just purchased your coupon for hospitalized and so he, so basically he um, jumped off a balcony cause Yeah, so he jumped off a balcony because, because of reasons. Okay, now you guys just introduce yourselves, okay? So yeah, I just said, when it was my turn to introduce myself, I just said, Hi, I'm Andy, and I like culprit eels. It was a, and a few people said, I like turtles. It was a meme, you know. So anyways, that's almost that, and also now we just have to put our key cards in. This a zipper bag or something. So also he assigned us to a recreation group. Let me explain. Recreation groups is like a team of people working together to complete recreation. Team could pick any good marine name, and then the other teams within the team had to compete in the recreation to get points or such and such. So I know who, I know who won the recreation, but no spoilers. Recreation was like an activity for like each team they had to compete against against each other to get points. There were like five recreations and one for each day. The recreation like includes swimming, dodgeball, ice water activities outdoors, and beach stuff. So yeah, we got assigned to a recreation, and I was in this group named the Slimy Salty Sea Pickles. Okay, look, I didn't agree to them, but people in the group were me, Sophia, Wyatt, and Evie, and some other people that I forgot the name of. Also, if my best friend Sophia is watching this, then I'm talking about another Sophia, okay? A lot of people uh, were named Sophia. So also, we made posters to put on our room doors, and me and Sam's look like this. I circled the thing Sam drew. Yeah, uh, Sam, you wanna go watch the movie? Yeah, there's always this movie at um, 8 p.m. every night. Okay. So we just walk into the flower room to watch the movie. Well, what is that? Is that tough at the vending machine? Oh, Sophia was also there, but I'm not doing that thing. Okay, hi guys. So you guys want a drink? Also, the the vending machine is broken. And no matter what you pick, it always gives you a Pepsi. The only thing that's not Pepsi is Georgia iced tea. Yeah, I like this. I'm gonna take this, boy. Thank you, excuse me, please. Okay. So we decided not to watch a movie and just stay in the dorms and watch YouTube on Sam's phone. Also, here's an event that happens. Huh? Oh yeah, Mr. Crab. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Mr. Crab. Crab, 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 crab. Okay, so yeah, after that we just took a shower, also you kind of really locked the bathroom door, so just tell your roommate you're going to be showering. I also had to brush my teeth, and instead of a cup of water, I used the water bottle, because I had no gloves in. So after we were done showering, I was just changing into this Nike shirt or whatever, so me and Sam just slept and talked about Puffy's life and Sam's life and GIFs, you know, I'm, no, you know, so anyways, I decay now, bye. You don't have to subscribe, just like and click the notification bell, I'll be fine, bye.